improv team for you tonight. The closing out tonight will be our Austin Jim Yeah. Okay. But please welcome the stage for now the Everett in words of William Shakespeare. remain in the basement, and I appreciate it. <laughs> we are the unwritten works of William Shakespeare. We are here to present to you some of those works that William Shakespeare would have written if he just had enough time, but he never got around to it. So, all we need from you are some suggestions. Um, so, thinking back to your old high school days, you may recall Shakespeare liked to recycle some of his material. He liked to reuse some of those things. Because when he finds something that works, he stick with it, right? Mm -hmm. So, what are a couple of those things that, that you may have found in numerous Shakespeare plays? A suggestion, perhaps, from this general vicinity. A boy playing a girl, playing a boy trying to get a girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a girl, how very as you like it. Um, <laughs> oh, another one from this general vicinity, please. Jealous husbands. Jealous husbands. Not one, but multiple. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A boy playing a girl playing a boy who's trying to get a girl. Uh -huh. Whoa, that's layers. Jealous husbands. And now from in this general vicinity, an object that, that Shakespeare might have had access to. A handkerchief. A handkerchief. I like it. How <laughs> very Othello with both of you. Um, <laughs> Uh, so we have a handkerchief. We have jealous husbands. We have a boy playing a girl playing a boy. Try who to get a girl. <laughs> and uh, well, we, the Lord Chamberpot's players, know one of Shakespeare's unwritten works that happens to involve all three of those objects. So, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you this Shakespeare's unwritten work. Oh dear. Oh dear, today's my moment, my day. The morn hath sprung and so hath my heart. So you're finally going to tell him how you feel? Oh, I've been dreaming about it all night. Uh, and for several months. Every every day. It's so all not today. Oh. Not today. Yeah, don't tell him how I feel. But today's my day. <laughs> this a remarkable turnaround, yes. But I'll tell you what, if I get too shy. What am I to do? Nay, 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 speak not of that. Has been months and months of, oh, but I am too shy to tell him how I feel. This very morn thou hast said, today, whose day is today? Mine! <laughs> today be thy day, how to say thyself. What if my honey gets turned upside down and I start vomiting <laughs> on him? Then eat not this morn. Take not thy eggs and bakey. <laughs> Twas I that threw the meat down among them to see them <laughs> scrabble for it in the dust. <laughs> Dost thou not grow tired of seeing the common folk scratch at each other for our sport? Dost thou not think that there must be more to this life ah, than these co-regents of a sickly realm? Cassio, would that 
Would that our wives would scratch at us the way that these peasants do scratch at their meat. But nay. <laughs> Nary a scratch. It's so long since I have been scratched, Cassio. I, my skin hath not found its way under my wife's fingernails these many years. <laughs> But my fearful wondering <laughs> lies heavy upon my head as the paper crown doth rest. Dost thou think it be because we are not strong enough to bear up the weight of our paper crowns that our wives do turn from us? Are we too gangly? Are we not manly enough? Have we not enough strength in our cores? <laughs> 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 Now I struck upon a truth, Cassio, and I would see it fouled out to completion. That we may undertake to find the, the veracity of our strength. Do let me A, a quest thou dost say! <laughs> uh, perhaps challenges would find the metal of the man. And the crowns may too become metal one day when we do become strong enough to bear it up. Quite so, our metal be made metal indeed. Onward to the challenge. <laughs> Come on, crown's not going to make itself. I just wish to enjoy you do your work, <sighs> Father, for you are so skilled. And I am but a maid learning to make crowns. Ah, uh, one day, my dear, you shall wear a crown as well. Oh, Father. Perhaps not the crown of the kingdom, but a crown of love, perhaps. A crown of marriage. Oh, the crown of marriage? <laughs> <laughs> Father, I have hoped and prayed for this all my 16 years of life. And if I have to live one more day past 16 without being married, I should die. I realize you are reaching the age of being too old to find a suitor, but <laughs> you may still find one before you are 17. You're not an old crone yet. <laughs> <laughs> Father, though you tell me I am not an old crone, every time I go about the forest, the birds speak to me like I am one of their own. They seem crow in me. <laughs> the birds they speak? I, Father, I communicate with all the birds. The tiny red birds, the giant black birds, Blackbird is a sign of importance. You, perhaps you are destined to wear the crown. Perhaps the crown of state, even. Oh, then I shall practice with this one, Father. It fits you perfectly. Oh, if I am to be royal one day, I must prepare. I must learn to eat my eggs and bake every morning. <laughs> I 
find the love therein. But would she see me for the man that I am? Hey, perhaps I must conceal myself that I be not mistaken for a robber or a bandit. Yea, verily, perhaps I shall attire myself thusly in womanly shape. <laughs> Yeah, it befits me not, and yet no. I would be seen a woman ere I be seen a man. <laughs> but I say a man. I've seen him for months. Oh, must I confess? Oh, oh greatly have I been seen to be a man, and yet I would be seen by a woman who, who with whom I could share love. Yeah, my love's here. Hi, I'm a forest, and hi. Please, <laughs> put thou away from the woods that I may see the woods and imagine the love therein. Oh, hi, I can be one. Say why. Hi, uh, hi. Do so then. Travel with me and be be li like a maid unto my ladyhood, that I may that I may uh, be befit the the deception more like. I have like nothing else. I have brought the keys into my chamber. Would you share them with me? I want you to take my keys. Would you oh, come into my chamber? With would these keys would show my love that I do mean business? And then I shall grant them unto the love that I find therein. Mark, attend me that we may enter the forest together. Crown. Hast thou seen Cassior Manio lately? I have not seen them. For you see, I cover my eyes every time I pass. Ah, they be not worthy of our attention. Oh, Florinda, if I could but find a new man, a man with a real crown, a crown made of metal. Cassandra, a metal crown? <laughs> To have more adventure, thou must needs leave the castle. I thy, have thy quarters, and thou will leave and find your adventure in the woods which do lie beyond the, the walls. Oh, perhaps I could take a carriage. <laughs> Do you hear them approaching? <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to get a look at it. What? My pardon. I beg thy pardons. Pardons, beg. I am I'm the most mighty man in the realm in politics, but when it comes to physical strength, you are my betters. Oh. I'm better at you than you could even be at politics. I have dreams at night of me being a politician. And guess what? Everybody loves me! <laughs> if you do not improve, they will be approaching and you will not be there. They? <laughs> Those who seek your crown. I'll seek your crown because everybody will love me. Oh. Is that them that I hear approaching, or is that other horse hooves? <laughs> <laughs> there are many strange horse hooves in this forest. <laughs> Tell me, how does how doth Mandio's training sessions proceed? <laughs> Has he progressed to the second? 
of the push-ups. Adam <laughs> <laughs> Davis has done 100 push-ups. <laughs> Nay, thou liest. Mandio, uh, this be not a push-up. Though, <laughs> though thou hast done a hundred of them, and thou, thy strength hath not improved one way. <laughs> and yet greatly hath the strength of this finger improved. <laughs> Were thou to do one hundred on each finger, thou wouldst not still have improved thy core. <laughs> thy fingers connect not with thy core. Uh, but, and yet, see how it doth tip the crown that, that doth reside thereon. <laughs> When thou and Cassio didst come here to train and find adventure. So we did. Uh, yay, yay! And then thou didst inexplicably split up so that thou wouldst compete against each other. The reason split up not. <laughs> not K O N O T? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the other room. <laughs> oh! Firenze and I have been <laughs> training very <laughs> <Yeah>. strong. <laughs> yeah, well, Mandio has done a hundred push-ups. You <laughs> <laughs> see, when he may lack in strength of body, he has grown in strength of mind. And in politics, that is often more important. Ah! You will take my kingdom from me and I. <laughs> <laughs> I see, Mandio, that thou hast grown Bigger than thy station, no longer co-regent seek thee to be. Thou seekest to be sole regent. <laughs> Speak I true! In truth, the thought had not occurred to me, but thou hast planted it deeply in my mind. Not that he is not! Yeah, I have heard it now too. Now I wish to train him even more vigorously. <laughs> is regent, and who is regaled out? I must the rest of plans afoot, and you must do what you can to fight on your own strength. Yeah, I know this! This, this be a good idea, Cassio. So, whoever dost take control of the kingdom by being stronger will have proven himself worthy of the love of his wife. That is what this was all about. That does seem very logical. So it shall be found. Right? And the way, and, and within a fortnight, perhaps in two nights only, we shall meet again upon these, these grounds, beneath this canopy of trees, and there shall we see the better man who he shall be. The forest is dead, and so much love, you've lost your head. <laughs> I guess my plans were a bit hasty, but you see, my father, my father said I was turning into a crow, and so I left home and, and came here, and you were the wise woman of the wood. Oh, as I say, the wise woman of the wood, who once lived in the hood. Uh, a love here within the woods? I wish to find a love! Uh, 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 you can, you can 
You don't show fine love in a rock or something. This is my man, you crow. You know. You know. I, I, may I be a, a, a lady, but I could, I could bid myself pretend to be a man. No, no. That I may, that I may, may practice the wooing no. upon you. I shall promote thee above thy other things. What is this? Strength upon thy body! Cassandra, perhaps thou hast noticed that my fingers wax in size. Oh, in size of strength! Oh, perhaps you notice his stomach now looks as if six mugs of ale. <laughs> affections, but also to bring down my rival Mandio to the dust, where he will scramble with the, for the meat with the others. Oh, Mandio! Dost thou find my assertiveness grand? <laughs> <laughs> find myself a victor in this, and yet concern and dread to fill me. Nay, fear not! Thou shouldst have the manner of someone who is frisky! Oh. <laughs> for yet woeful am I for... Deep within the wood did I find this kerchief. And it reminded me greatly of, of my wife's. Yeah. And I think to myself, hath she trod these leaf strewn grounds in search of others than I? Thy, thy wife? But thou didst say thy wife hath never left the castle. So thought I. And yet evidence have I found. That thou that thy wife doth. Walk the woods? She doth abroad, indeed. Yes, come, come. This, this is my poo. Oh. Some, some gentle folk doth be in my power. Oh. So are we, wise creature of the wood. I am in fact going to slay this young lady, for she did find this, the one that she loved was slaying her slave. Oh, oh, I love being love is slower to than death. 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 Oh. Yes. We do speak it all in, in, in the halls of power. Clearly. <laughs> you must remind me that my heart is broke again. Well, I shall set up the gallows. The <laughs> hearts that are broken would be mended. I would break the hearts that have broken mine. Oh, wow. And I would break Mandio's spirit and break his body as well. Let 
the, that the crown, his paper crown, may rest upon one ear and mine upon the other. Yea, that like, like a mouse who doth have two crowns to stick up. Use that rage, use that vengeance, that thirst. Use it to power thy ambition and thy training, for tis the very night of the duel when thou wilt take on Cassio. This very night we meet under the, the enchanted grove. Art thou alive yet? Recompense for her condition, so, so, so hath my mind interpreted her words. And thus am I, am I motivated, and thus am I endeavored that Matthew's death shall be soon. Yea, then away we now to the field of battle, where you and Cassio shall prove thy mettle. <laughs> My daughter were here. She has wandered off into these woods, seeking a man, but I fear the crown shall not cross her head. She sounds bad, and she also sounds weak. Love, embarrassing. Crowns, enchanting. Metal, disgusting. And here within the blessed wood we find the dark heart to find and take it. Oh, my daughter! We have upon noble folk. I have finished the metal crown. It shall, it shall rule over all of the paper crowns and be the true bearer of this land's power. Hold, 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 a Nas. <laughs> <laughs> I am the co-regent of this realm. Should not the crown rest upon my head? Your head. Nay, your verily, head. the crown shall rest upon my. Perhaps he shall fight you as well. This is merely tinfoil. <laughs> <laughs> 